only on FS1. The Cowboys got a big win on the road last night in Arizona, 28 to 17. Dak Prescott finished with a touchdown run and two touchdown passes in the win. The Cowboys are now two and one and are in a three-way tie for first in the NFC East. We're joined by Fox NFL analyst Greg Jennings. Good morning, Greg. Good morning, Joyce. It's a great How? morning, right? Let me get a view. Hey, it's a great morning, Greg. I, I, all the great Skip is living high right now. I, I was living low, man. I was a pool of sweat when it was yeah, over. The hey, it was have sweat. Cardinals are a mess. How impressed were you with the Cowboys last night? I was impressed. I was I was impressed. I, I'm I'm just gonna get right to it. Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott. His and I don't want I don't want to make Skip feel too good. <laughs> but there was two things that stood out to me. Dak Prescott ability to Extend the plays and be accurate with where he, his ball placement was. There was there was one play first and ten. He he's eluding tackles. He rolls out, spins out, and he finds Terrence Williams on the sideline. Hard hard play to who make. Did, who did a play like this? I remember a play like this. Oh yeah, last, last year. year. You remember that game? Like, the divisional. Very very similar. But it's wait. Does that mean that Dak Prescott is reminding us of dare I say Aaron Rodgers? No, 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 not I at think all. That's no. where we're heading. But no. with this play, it is so hard for a quarterback, a right-handed quarterback, yes. to roll out left and open his shoulders, square his shoulders up, and make that throw as accurate as he did. Then he had a couple other plays to Bryce Butler, the the touchdown, the thirty-seven yard touchdown throw, where Bryce Butler makes a great play, and I. I talk about Bryce Butler and I talk about Terrence Williams. Who am I not talking about? I don't know, Skip. Who? Dez. He made a great play. Oh, he bullied his way in the end. But it was just a physical play. It was. The the problem, what I am disappointed about with the Cowboys, specifically Dez Bryant, even though they had a great showing last night. Yep. He's he's falling out of my number one grace. Like, I don't... He exposes himself at the line of scrimmage. He allows no. every defender to put, put hands on him. on him at the line. He shows no suddenness no. at the line. Totally. Now, when he gets the ball in his hand, he is special. Yes. But he's struggling to get separation and create separation at the line. That's why what's impressive with Dak Prescott, he's like, I- I'm not locked in on this guy. Mm-mm. I got to so use everybody real else. Quick, last night, big picture. He catches one ball in the first half that goes for minus three, did Des Bryant. Then he caught uh, just a zone beater. Where yeah, he's completely yeah, absolutely. cross over the ball. Yeah. yeah, and he catches it and turns up and takes on the entire zone, yeah. the entire secondary, and carries it 12 yards into the end absolutely. zone. Absolutely. Right. So that's all you got from 88 last night. Go ahead. It was impressive. But but when you walk, look at the grand scheme of this game and the Dallas Cowboys, the way they won, it was because of the play of Dak Prescott. His ability to protect the ball, be able to extend plays, and be accurate outside the pocket, that was what I was most impressed with. That's what I was impressed with. But I guarantee you, Skip, if you look at Dak's completion percentage and his quarterback rating, throwing to Dez Bryant versus everybody else on that team, I bet you it's lower throwing to him because he has to be perfect because there's little separation and he can't run the – he's only going to run X amount of routes. And because there's no separation – You've got to be perfect. Mm-hmm. If you're not perfect, it's picked or it's incomplete. You see, the other guys are running routes. They're running all. They're running comebacks. They're running square outs. They're getting on the field. They have not so much. What I was impressed with most, Greg, is that when you look at the Cowboys, they possessed the ball for under 25 minutes, 45 plays, gave up the uh, cards, ran 30 more plays, and they won a ball game. Think, think about what you just said. Yeah. 75 to 45 Absolutely. plays and you Unheard. won? And, and you won convincingly? And, and almost 10 minutes time of possession, Skip. So what that tells you is that when you have so few plays, if you turn it over, you're going to get beat. So you have to be perfect. And, and he was. Turned it over none. And, it, and by the way, they forced no turnovers either. So you're not even feasting off a Carson Palmer exactly, pick six or whatever, exactly. right? And the thing, the th- what's so impressive is, is that normally you see a, a, a young quarterback, yes. they start to press because they want to make it happen, Skip. I just got to make this play. And you try to fit a ball that's not there. Or you get careless and the ball gets taken out of your hand from a swipe from behind. But he guarded the ball. They only put the ball up 18 times. They only had 45 total plays. So even, and the thing is, they're stopping Zeke on first down. 
So that's why their their, their third down percentage is so low, Skip. Two for nine last night. Because and you now still all up twenty eight points. If it if normally thirty one to three, now it's thirty five to seven, seven to nine. Well, your completion, well, your uh, third down percentage is going to go down the longer the distance is for you to get to that first down. You have to give them credit. You had to be impressed with what you saw with them offensively. But I'm concerned, Skip, and you must be also, because you see a lot of penetration on first and second down when they're trying to run the ball to Zeke. You saw a lot of pressure that you didn't see last year on on uh, Z, uh, Dak when he's back to throw the football. So I'm a little concerned that impressed that they won, but I'm concerned with how they won. You know what I thought? <laughs> I loved ultimately what happened, mm -hmm. and I was often horrified by what happened because I thought it was rather miraculous that they pulled off 28 to 17 with all the things we just talked about. Cole Beasley was the leading receiver last year for this football team for the whole year for 17 mm -hmm. games. He caught one ball last night for four yards. So far through two games, Jason Witten had been the leading receiver, catches and yards for this team. Mm -hmm. Last night, he caught one ball very early for three yards. It was, I think it was on the, the opening series when Dak just had to throw it into the flat just to give up play, and they punted. That's all you got from those two guys? Really? Mm -hmm. And Dez had one play that he made, and you won? How did you do that? It came down to number four because in very few opportunities – he showed you once again, he is the rarest of commodities. He is a mature, young leader who makes key, crucial plays without making mistakes. Mm -hmm. Last year, he was 23 touchdowns to four interceptions. And this year, they got smoked in Denver, thanks to your Broncos, who played their Super Bowl. I, I think they did, because then they were flat going to Buffalo. Skip, we sure changed them. Yeah. They had the ball. 23 minutes and 45 seconds. Yeah. I said less than 25. No, they had the ball less than 24. They yeah. 36 to 20. Yes! But the plays are the thing. When, when you're 75 plays to 45 plays, are you wow. kidding me? Dak Prescott, whatever, they all sound like cliches, but you want to talk about, as Jason Garrett said, mental toughness, spirit that, that inspires everybody to follow him. Again, I was sweating because it almost went to 14 to zip. And yeah. I'm, I'm thinking at 14, we're, we're not going to come back from 14 because it's a crazy place to play. It was hot. There's a lot of dehydration going on. There's a lot of cramping. Scandrick cramped at the end. Sean Lee cramped. And I'm thinking 14 to nothing. And fatefully, there was a holding call that, that erased the 14 to nothing. And then they missed the field goal. And here came Dak. And what did he finally say? My offensive line is getting its golden tails whipped. He didn't actually say this, but he's thinking it because this is supposed to be the, the vaunted best line in football. Mm -hmm. They couldn't run block, and they could not pass block for much of the first half last night. And the quarterback finally said, okay, we got a zone read play. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep it this time because my man 21 here, he's going read. nowhere. And whoosh, pulls it back, takes it off right tackle. Turns it up, and he says, you know what? I probably shouldn't do this, but we need this right now. And he goes airborne and, and backflips over two defenders into the end zone, a highly dangerous play that I do not recommend that he does on a routine basis. But did it not change the flow? It's, it's what his, his team said. Aha, we got a chance. It's 7-all. We don't deserve to be 7-all at halftime, but it was. And then he makes just two throws, and they're both – incredibly uncharacteristic plays where the first one is just a broken play. I'm going to bolt right, and this, this defender is all over me. He's tracking me down, and I'm going to whip it across my bar body on the dead run. I'm going to throw a strike into the end zone to Bryce Butler, not to, to 88, but to Bryce Butler, who is a stud, man. He's 6'3", 220, originally recruited and played at USC, and, and he is timed at 4'4". So he's got everything that our man does no longer has that ability to get behind people. So he says, I better go to that guy. And he went to him, and then the next time is a call bootleg, and he does it again. And it's another game breaker, 53 yards that set up the Zeke touch. Kim, you don't have to be fast. Look at the guys that's in the Hall of Fame. You look at the Chris Carter, the Tim Brown, the Jerry Rice. They weren't no 4-4, four, 4-3 four, four, guys, but yep. they could get separation. They got separation. You have to understand, You the, the, the route tree, the book of the route tree yep. must be open. Because if a DB knows that you're only going to run three to four routes and he's not worried about anything else, yep. you're going to catch the Dickens. 
getting away from it. Well, Shannon, to your point about Dez, since Dak came into the league, the only teammate he has a completion rate under 50% is Dez. And that's dead last of the 15 players that Dak has thrown to in his career. That's what happened in Denver. Yeah. Too much to Dez. Yep. Was Richard Sherman's hit on Marcus Mariota dirty? We'll discuss that next. So you have